After much anticipation and far too much delay, we're finally ready to get the Horsepower Monster 427 up on the dyno and see what she can do. Hang on, we're gonna make some steam. Our partner for this build is KT Engine Development, which helped with the machine work and specking out all the parts. Honestly, my timing, as far as they were concerned, was terrible. Brothers Ken and Kevin Troutman were thrashing on a couple of race engines of their own, but they still made time for me to make a couple quick pulls on their dyno. Thankfully, engine builder Ed Leslie of Grenade Racing Engines was able to lend a hand. After everything was hooked up, the last step was to fill the 6-quart Milodon Stroker oil pan with Comp Cam's break-in oil, and then prime the oil pump until we could confirm both oil pressure at the gauge and a steady flow of oil through all 16 rocker arms. Based on his experience building the engine, Leslie also set the engine timing at 38 degrees before top dead center was fully advanced. Because of KT engine's hectic schedule, we were only able to make a couple of pulls after the break-in period. The puffs of smoke you see are coming from a dipstick hole in the block, which I plugged, but somehow didn't manage to get fully sealed. I've got a Milodon dipstick I'll install in its place and seal that leak. That happens after the engine comes off the dyno. Because of the time crunch, we didn't get to do any meaningful tuning on the engine. The carburetor was running rich, but we'll deal with that and also do a few timing sweeps after the engine is in the Camaro. Overall though, we're very happy with this package. It makes good power with peaks of 545.7 foot-pounds of torque at 4200 RPM and 534.3 horsepower at 5400 RPM. And with a little tuning, we can probably inch that up a little higher. Besides making good power, the Comp Cam Thumper camshaft gives the 427 a nice, slopey idle, and the quality internals means this motor should be a dependable performer that isn't stressed at these power levels and will run reliably for years. Make sure to check out the link below for the full dyno sheet as well as a complete build sheet with every part number that went into this engine build.